Hello everyone, welcome back to this section. In this video, we are going to solve the question we have here on our board. And it's an example from an inclined tube manometer. And the question reads, the pressure of water flowing through a pipe is measured by the arrangement shown below. For the values given, calculate the pressure in a pipe. So we are to calculate the pressure in a pipe in this YouTube manometer we have here. So we first start with our parameters which are being given. Then we write our equation to solve the pressure in a pipe. So our first parameter we can see here is the gauge pressure, which is denoted by P naught here, which is 30 kilopascal. And we have a height here, that's the height of water. H2, which is 50 centimeters, also equivalent to 0 0.5 meters. We also have the gauge fluid, which is another form of a fluid. And it has an SG or a specific gravity of 2.4, which we can find for its density by multiplying it by the density of water. So let's go straight and write the density of the gauge fluid. So let's denote it by G. So that's 2.4 times 1000, which will give us 2400 kilogram per meter cube. We also have the height here, H1, and H1 is equal to 8 centimeters, which is also equivalent to 0 0.08 meters. So now since it's inclined, we have an angle here, but we want the vertical height, not the diagonal, the diagonal length. So in finding for the vertical height, we know we can resolve this into this figure here and have our vertical height being H1. So that's eight centimeters. And also we have the total length here, which is six plus six, that's giving us 12 centimeters. So if we want to find a theta here, we can write sine of theta, which is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is eight over 12, which will give us 0 0.6667. So the angle there is, so sine theta is equal to 0 0.6667. Let's leave it in this form for now. So now, since I'm saying we need the vertical height, so we would like to find for the height here and also find for this height here, this height here. But let's find for this first height. That is the L1 side. The L1 side, that will be sine theta, L, the vertical height there will be sine theta L, which will give us 0 0.6667 times 6 centimeters. That's going to give us 4 centimeters. So that's the vertical height here. Yeah when it's inclined. So the same applies to this since they are all six centimeters. So the L1 side is four centimeters, the L2 side is also four centimeters. So that height there is four centimeters. So let's name it as, let's clean this. So let's denote that as H, 
L1, which is for CN, and H L2, which is also for C. So now we are come to write our equation. So we are done finding our stars. So we are come to write the equation and inputs whatever whatever parameter we found for into the equation and find for our pressure in the pipe. So we have our first one, we have the P naught. And since the water is coming down 50 cm, you let's write the equation first. So P naught plus, since it's coming down, pressure increases with depth. So we have rho g h of water. And since this one is also going up, it's elevating, it will be negative. So that will be rho g h of the gauge, which we denoted as G in the first half. Mm -hmm. Minus, also this is also moving up, so it's minus. So minus rho G H of another water, which would be equal to the pressure in the pipe. Let's name it as P2, or if I'm even name it as P1. One. So now we can, we can input our parameters that we have. We have 30 times 10 to the power of 3, which is 30 kilopascal, plus what's the rule of water? 1,000 kilogram per meter cube times the gravity, that's 9.81 times the height of water, that's the first height of water, that's, we had 0 0.5 meters, which we will see. Then, plus the rule of the gauge fluid, which we found here to be 2,400. 2,400 times 9.81, times the height, which is for skin, so 0 0.04. 0 0.04 meters. And we have our last parameter here, which is minus the rule of water, 1,000 kilogram per meter cube times 9.8, again, which is the acceleration due to gravity times the same distance here, yeah, four centimeters, which can be converted into 0 0.04 meters. And all of this will be equal to the P1 that the pressure in the pipe. So now we use our calculator to find for it. Sorry, this was supposed to be negative. Right, that's so we are going to get a P one to be equal to three, three, five, seven, zero point eight four Pascal which is also equivalent to 33.5708 kilopascal. Thank you for watching this video.